Domingo. Good morning, it's Sunday and we're at La Zinha Boulevard, the largest shopping centre in Alicante province and it is absolutely superb. It's just had an 18 million pound refurb and it's got over 150 shops in there, all designers, bars, restaurants, everything. And we're gonna take a look and see what's going on with this new update. We're just gonna have a look from the side entrance up by the Primark and we're gonna show you this amazing eco-friendly children's play area they've just built. And it is super duper, water shoots a lot. You've got the new stage and we've got all the new um, tiling they've done. They've done so much work here. And I'd like to mention, this is uh, the most modern shopping center going. It's been here since 2012 and it's really popular with lots of designer shops and restaurants. And it does get very busy. And they also put a lot of entertainment on as well in the holiday season. I think we've got on the 20th, we've got the flamingo dance up on the stage. So yeah, we do get a lot of entertainment in this boulevard. We're gonna have a look around and see what's going on and all the new modern updates. Straight away, just by the toilets, where Primark is, you've got the famous benches they've just built. Used to have be a round little plantation here and all the men used to sit outside while the women shopped in Primark. Got some nice new benches. You've got an Ikea shop here as well, so if you want to order from Ikea, you've got an Ikea shop. And uh, yeah, you've got CNA, CNA still going here as well in Spain. I know it all finished in England. Your Ikea shop, and you've got your animal shop. So yeah, we're going to take a look, we're going to show you this magnificent play area they've just done for the children, and uh, the new stage. You see, it's all out of a new, new tiling along here, all been tiled. 18 million is a lot of money to spend. If you've never been to the Boulevard, it's uh, yeah, it gets very busy. Uh, today being Sunday, a lot of them are closed. But like I mentioned, uh, they've got this uh, stage for entertainment for the kids. You've got an arcade in the corner, right by the centre point of the Boulevard, where they've got the kids gaming, actually bowling in there. So we'll show you that. You've got uh, lefties, yeah, lefties, very cheap shop. If you're after some cheap shops or men's, even women's lefties, pretty reasonable. The Berska shop, full of beer, and he's even got an Alwop shop here as well. So, yeah, we're coming up right up to the middle now where we're going to see the, uh, the new stage and the kids' jellyfish play area. This is uh, the kids' new play area. And also they've got some water shoots as well that come up in the ground and they love it. And you've got another kind of kids play area straight up there as well. And this is at the top, as you can see, you've got all the restaurants, the good burgers and the Chinese woks and the Italian restaurants and the pasta shops, the Argentinians. You've got a Subway's up there and also you've got a Burger King up there. But this is the, the most popular bit where they all sit and have a coffee and watch the children play and a new mod stage there with all the lights on and uh, just in the corner over there is that arcade I was telling you about where you can get some bowling and kids games so if it's a rainy day you can come down and go in this arcade our corner you've got the medium mark and a party shop just over there in that corner if you're looking for party stuff medium mark the electricals the washing machines and ovens all sorts and this is the bowling shop I was telling you about all arcades in now. So we're just going to take a look upstairs and we're going to go right over the other side where they've got this other play area being designed. It's the tapas and you've got another Italian in the corner there for your paellas and your spaghettis and then you've got the Xi Italiano. This one's a really great if you want to sit down it's a buffet Italian but you sit down and just bring the dishes out and uh, they start off with all the kinds of pizzas and they just come around with the pizzas and all the pastas. You've got the prices here and on the weekends it's 16.95. Other than that, Monday to Friday it's 14.95. But yeah, it's really great. Sit there and they just keep bringing the dishes around. The toilet's down now. And like I mentioned, over the other side you've got another couple of Italians. Got a kebab place right over there in the corner. This is your Chinese wok buffet, 17.95. 
We'll take a look inside, shall we? Looks very posh. Yeah, it's done up very posh inside. And there we go, you've got all, all your dishes out here on the side and they cook it up for you fresh. There we go. So yeah, I was just talking to the lady here who works here, 1795 unlimited and it's supposed to be really good so yeah give it a go i've done a few buffets in spain i've not recommended it but this one does look a bit fresh and we're going to just check this out over here you see they're still working on this so the work's still going on here but it looks absolutely fantastic a kid's slide by the looks of things the burger company fitz gerald got a lovely big giraffe inside yeah this is a new burger place and it's quality burgers in here you get 100% beef and they cook it like steak really medium well and raw so depends how you want it it's uh, very pretty inside it's not cheap but then a uh, good quality beef burgers ain't it's around about 14 euros comes with some chips but yeah it looks very uh very rustic it's just opening up so let me do a little video but you can check it out online if you want to give this place a go so that was a super posh burger joint. Cook it like your steak. Looks absolutely nice. Kids will love it in now. Such that big giraffe. And uh, it'd be even better when this is all done. So we're gonna go and down and look at this uh, aisle just down there on the right hand side where all the designer shops are. So we're up there, the main posh aisle, I call it anyway. They've got Swarovski here. You've got your Pandora. I mean, for after a bit of fancy ice cream and the cocktails with uh, no alcohol. Got your kids' toy shop. You got the body shop just here as well, and you got another little cafe in the corner over there, the gourmet cafe. That so if you follow it right through to the end, you'll come up to another car park. Car park's all the way around. It's like a square, this shopping centre, and you've got loads of underground car parking, and it's all free. So we'll make our way back to the middle. You've got the new pharmacy here as well with the disability stuff. We're after disability scooters. Another new shop opening up. You get so many new shops opening up here. They come and go all the time. And you normally get a stall just here as well that sorts out your internet designer oh, shops over there. Look, line porches. And this is that coffee shop I was telling you about. It's very, very busy. And you've got the toilets just down this little alleyway here. So if you look at the bathroom, just down there. And the expensive guest shop. Yeah, this, this place, like I mentioned, in the night time can be absolutely ramo sunny today. A lot of the shops just ain't open. I'm not sure if it's a, a red day in Spain. But it opens uh, seven days a week, this shopping centre. Even on a red day, you always get the restaurants open. But it does seem today you've got a lot of the main shops closed. So we've got an Adidas shop straight over, right next to the Medic Media Mart, I'll send you about, and a Zara home. And we're going to go down that alleyway over there, which they've also done a lot of... Uh, Remodernisations, and just there you've got your big fold, and it tells you what entertainment's going on in April, and it's uh, just starting to fill up now. I mean, 18 million is no small feat, that's for sure. So just on this bit here, on the, on the, if you come out the entrance to the right, you'll be at the uh, the place where you get your car done, your car centre and uh, the casino and this is the bit they've done here as well used to have uh, some kind of little pond here people chuck their coins in that's gone but they've uh, put something else in its place just around the corner some kind of water shooting fountain a little bit free so we've put this in place just around here we placed a little uh, Wishing Pond around the other side. See what we're doing, Kenny. 
you've got your superstore and here you've got your infinity love a bit like Ann Summers you're after all the sexy sexy gear you can go in now in the middle you've got another coffee place and right after that you've got a store that does all your vapes and of course you've got your Alwok which is obviously new just here and if you're after uh, knickknacks there's a shop here called the Flying Tiger that's like a euro and two euro things they sell in there selling everything in it quite an interesting shop the Flying Tiger so that's the vape stall so this will lead us right way back up to where we started off at Primark So that was Lasagna Boulevard. Let me know if you've been here before and what you think of the place. I think it's one of the best boulevards going. Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.